the more I see people doing their own timing belts, the more I see that they are just wildly over tightening them. Um, when you put that much stress on it, it ultimately burns up the first couple of journals for the cam. There are no bearings there. So as soon as you apply too much downforce pressure from over tightening the belt, it's going to burn the head up, burn the cams up, heads toast, it's over. And there's a reason that there's a freaking spring on it because it's only supposed to be tightened to spring pressure. So, you know, all I ever do when I do these things is, you know, with the spring on there, I turn counterclockwise and I use both hands. The same time I'm turning counterclockwise, I have the spark plugs in as soon as I hit a compression stroke. I keep turning counterclockwise while I tighten that bolt. That's a little bit tighter than stock because uh, stock just says rotate it, put all the slack over here, bang, Bob's your uncle. And it wiggles a little bit too much for my opinion, but I mean, there's, I'm not putting any force on this. There should be that much slop. There should, it shouldn't twang like a freaking guitar string. And you know, that just destroys this bearing, this bearing, and the, ultimately the, the cam journals and the motor's over and you'll hear that whoa, 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 whoa. while it's running and that's the belt is way too freaking tight you guys gotta calm down with reefing on that thing like that 